Imagine a world where the tiny devices that power everything from smartphones to supercomputers are no longer made by the US and European companies, but by China. A world where China has achieved self-reliance in the semiconductor industry and has challenged the dominance and influence of the US and European chip companies. A world where the chip industry is undergoing a major transformation and where the global balance of power is shifting. This is not a science fiction scenario, but a reality that is happening right now. In this video, I will analyze how China achieved self-reliance in the chip industry and what were the consequences for the US and European chip companies. China's Strategy and Progress in Pursuing Semiconductor Self-Reliance China's strategy and efforts to pursue semiconductor self-reliance can be traced back to the late 1990s, when China realized the importance of chips for its economic and military development. Since then, China has launched several national plans and policies to support its chip industry, such as the National Integrated Circuit Industry Development Outline, the Made in China 2025 Initiative, and the New Infrastructure Campaign. These plans and policies aim to increase China's chip production capacity, quality, and innovation, and to close the gap with the global leaders. China's chip industry has made significant progress in the past two decades as it has expanded its market size, improved its technology level, and diversified its product portfolio. According to the China Semiconductor Industry Association, China's chip industry revenue reached $143.4 billion in 2020, accounting for 15.9% of the global market share. China also increased its chip production capacity from 8.6% of the global total in 2015 to 15.9% in 2020 and reduced its chip import dependency from 58.3% in 2013 to 44.8% in 2020. China's chip industry has also benefited from the increased demand and investment in the local semiconductor industry, especially after the U.S. imposed export restrictions on high-end chips and related equipment to Chinese firms such as Huawei and SMIC. These restrictions were aimed at curbing China's technological rise and protecting U.S. national security interests. However, they also motivated China to invest more in its own chip industry and to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. China's domestic chip equipment makers have seen a surge in revenue in the first half of 2023 as they received more orders from the local chip manufacturers. For example, Nora Technology Group, a leading Chinese chip equipment maker, reported a 150% year-on-year increase in revenue in the first half of 2023, reaching $1.2 billion. China's Challenges and Difficulties in Developing Its Chip Industry However, China's chip industry also faced challenges and difficulties as a record number of Chinese chip firms went out of business in 2022, signaling a market correction after an investment frenzy in the previous two years. According to the China Semiconductor Industry Association, 92 Chinese chip firms closed down in 2022, up from 48 in 2021 and 18 in 2020. The main reasons for the closures were the lack of core technologies, the fierce market competition, the high production costs, and the low profitability. The closures also reflected the gap between China's chip industry ambitions and realities as China still lagged behind the global leaders in the most advanced and sophisticated chip technologies, such as the 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer processes. These technologies require huge investments, complex equipment, and skilled talent, which are not easy to obtain or develop. China also faced the risk of losing access to some of the key technologies and resources, such as the extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV machines from ASML, the Dutch chip equipment maker, which are subject to the U.S. export controls. The impact and response of the U.S. and European chip companies to China's chip industry development. The impact of China's chip industry development on the U.S. and European chip companies has been mixed as they have faced both opportunities and threats from the changing market dynamics and geopolitical tensions. On the one hand, the U.S. and European chip companies have benefited from the growing demand and investment in the chip industry as they have supplied chips and equipment to the Chinese market. 
On the other hand, the US and European chip companies have also suffered from the increased competition and pressure from the Chinese rivals as they have lost some of their market share and influence. The US and European chip companies have also responded differently to the new situation as they have adopted different strategies and approaches. The US chip companies have generally followed the US government's policies and regulations and have limited their exports and cooperation with the Chinese firms. The US chip companies have also focused on maintaining their technological edge and expanding their global presence, especially in the emerging markets such as India and Southeast Asia. The European chip companies have generally adopted a more pragmatic and flexible approach as they have tried to maintain their business and relations with the Chinese market, while also complying with the US export rules and regulations. The European chip companies have also focused on providing mature and stable chip production technologies and solutions for the Chinese market, rather than competing with the Chinese firms in the cutting-edge and high-end chip technologies. Implications of China's chip industry development and its impact on the US and European chip companies. China's chip industry has made remarkable progress and achievements, but it has also faced challenges and difficulties. Another implication is that the US and European chip companies have responded differently to China's chip industry development and that they have faced both opportunities and threats. The future of the chip industry is uncertain and complex as it depends on many factors such as the technological innovation, the market demand, the geopolitical situation, and the environmental sustainability. The chip industry is also a global and collaborative industry and it requires cooperation and coordination among the various actors and stakeholders. The chip industry can be a source of competition and conflict, but it can also be a source of cooperation and development.